What are you doing? Look, they're gonna fall. Oh. What is this dog doing? No, I was just making sure he's behaving. You know what? I have. Do you want it? What's that? I thought I was going to the mountains this weekend. Mm hmm. So I went to Costco and I picked up two of those 1.75. 1.75. Some vodka. Oh, uh, I don't really drink, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I got, a, I got a 1.75 liter of vodka to get rid of. Oh, yeah, not, not me. And these guys beer. These guys might want it, but. Do you know what their name is? Um, I, they all, I, no. Hey, man, what's going on? So I wound up with some extra liquor and some extra beer. Do you guys need anything? But I got a case of Coors Light in the house. I got it from Costco, so it's like, I think I paid like 17 bucks for it. My man's trying to flip the fuck up. I hooked him up. Those look dope. I just started. That's shiny, but like sparkly almost stuck in there. Oh, there's a little sparkle in there. Oh, it's just the glue. Oh. Is that your size? Yeah. Really, I'm more about, I want to feel it. Ooh, I want to feel it. Oh, wanna... it's definitely mesh. Yeah, of course it is. No, I know. Look but... at that cage. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it's been all day. Clean. It looks supportive, though. It's cool. It's a cool looking shoe, though. I don't really love the. I mean, I don't think I would love the materials, but. They're going to be my strictly running shoes. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I'm interested to see. Hopefully. <laughs> as long as they work. But I'm just saying. This is your fucking. This is not where you need your bat, though, you know? No, I know. I'm... Don't I need to show you how to run? No, I can't. <laughs> like, Teddy, you don't even fucking run. Shut the fuck up. Teddy. I like the, I like this whatever shit it is. It's just painted though, dog. Look at it. I know. I like that the cage is the entire back part of the shoe. It's like one piece. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should put them on. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. I mean, I could do the whole review today. No, well, you can't. You haven't ran them. You're just gonna. Put oh them yeah, on that's right. No. Put them on. Oh, oh, they're definitely snugger. Uh, Motherfucker <laughs> got a snuggie. Eh? I mean, maybe if you got some shorts that weren't five sizes too big, they might fucking look good. What? The you do with your life i don't know make sure you pull the socks up that's yeah. really that's gonna help from the fucking knee down you look like a sorority girl all right i'm out all right solar boost ready you're gonna I'm run down. with that shoebox in your hand no 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 i'm not running now i'm uh, gonna go bring this home but then i'm gonna go run like i don't know maybe eight to ten miles really give these things a fucking test right have fun with that and then i'll review them tomorrow too so that's the day not that we plan our days but Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Bye. It is Sunday night. Uh, in a situation. This is all flooded full of water. 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 So the only solution I have is it's Sunday night. Oh, it's getting into this carpet. Ridiculous. This is cleared somehow. I don't know. It's a really awesome way to spend fucking Sunday night. Jesus Christ. Good night. I'm going to see Incredibles. Good morning. The flooding has stopped. I did not make it to the movies. The maintenance man is on the way. Maintenance is here. Oh, that's what I was guessing by that truck. I was like, I hope he got in touch with him. We got issues on the here. Fucking we got, we got hey, motherfucking hey, issues. Hypey. Fucking home improvement. Hypey's home improvement. <laughs> Today is all about efficiency. We have to get all this done early. Then you've got everybody set up. They're okay. have a plumber come and then I okay. have the carpet guys come also. At some point you'll have to move that bed and like prop it up. Okay, something. we'll move it here in a minute just to get it out of the way. No. Uh, I have video of it from last night too, in case yeah, he needs it. If he wants to see it. You can email it to him or whatever. Okay, but. cool. The shit talk didn't work that well when it's fucking three months late. You know, you talk shit after they leave the playground, nobody cares. Oh, me baloney. Now watch these maintenance guys. They leave the buckets, they leave the Yeezy. Not today, motherfucker. I'm searching your ass. You come right out this door, you get it searched. What else do we need to do? Oh, you were going to review your shoes sure, today. Dog. Did you run? Yeah, but not the eight miles, disappointingly, because it was rainy. I yeah. went three yesterday. Mesh was good in the rain because it didn't let much water in, but it is not like prime. Are we, yet, are we the review right now? No, 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 no. Save it, bro. Yeah, wait. I wanted to keep nobody knowing how many shoes I have, and now there's like nine technicians coming through today. Today there was an employee sale, so like the employees got access to Pharrell's and different Easy's and shit. Yeah. And kids were trying to backdoor it on the internet. All over Twitter this morning, people were like, oh, I can't check out. I can't do this. I can't do that. It's like because it's Are not. Are there more nerd Pharrells? Yeah, there's a white pair. I saw them. <laughs> you did? Oh, you did? You saw them? 
Man, you're pretty early. No, I forget where I saw them, but I didn't know they existed. I saw them, I was like, oh, wait. They only dropped in Virginia at one store. They're kind of whatever. Someone hit me up and they wanted 5K for them. And I was like, I don't pay that for shoes, dog. Sorry, not for a white shoe that says nerd on the front. I mean, not for a shoe that would blow me afterwards, honestly. It's just not worth it. I have them though. I'd have to like be a fucking crazy nerd fan. Like I'd have to be, I'd have to have a, <coughs> mount, a mountain nerd more tattooed on my fucking chest to yeah. be that kind of crazy about it. Mount nerd more? That should be the name of their next album. Call me for real. Yeah, got ideas. He looked at it for two seconds down there. Oh yeah, that's your main sewage line for sure. And then you look on the ground now and everything down there is like all like, I was like, last night, it wasn't sewage. The water was just like clear water. He's like, when you, try, he's like, when you did a load of laundry and when you took a shower, all that water flushed through. He's like, that's what flushed through into here. And he's, he flushed the toilet. He's like, now that's what's coming through. And I was like, well, that's good. I was like, because when I walked through barefoot yesterday, it was fucking, you know, at least not straight shit. So yeah. now what? So then he's just down there fucking, I don't know, taking care of business, I guess. Let me know if you need anything, man. Okay, Omar, leave him alone. Come on, dude. We got a job to do, bro. We all got jobs except you, so why don't you go do what you're supposed to do? That's why there's so many shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're selling a bunch right now. You guys do pretty good with doing that? I'm actually not a shoe reseller. Just had the realization that 300 pairs is way too many. Gotcha. So, yeah. Like, I'm advertising for Killian today. It's just like, I know, I mean. The carpet cleaners are here. Omar can't go out back either because okay. uh, they're going to pull in the back. Um, knock on the front door. We'll come get this on Thursday. Like, what am I supposed to do? He's like, I don't know, but nobody can sleep down there. I'm gonna gimbal my frustrations. Yeah. I lost a set of the W. This is the second set that I ordered. I thought the fucking dog ate it. Yeah, I was like, I don't know where the fuck that thing is. And then, literally yesterday, like getting shoes done, I moved the push it tees out of the way, and then I don't know where it fell from. The shoe fell on the ground. Yeah. But so did a bag. And then I just heard ding, ding, ding. What the fuck? I was so surprised. Here it is. Your fucking shoe review, right? So I put this backwards with the RIP. Action. All right, what's up, everybody? Today, we're here, and I'm doing the reviews because Teddy retired. So, <laughs> this is all you get now. Here it is, Solar Boost. These are the shoes we're going over. Why did I get these? Because I've been running a lot lately. Why do I have this hat on like this? We don't know, but it's, it's supreme. Like sell it, so Oh. All right, we're back. Solar Boost. This is what we're here to talk about. This is what's important. These solar. Yes, I know what you're saying. Is that mesh? Yes, it's mesh. Is it hot? Yes, it's hot. Hot like good or hot like it's sweaty? Like sweaty, you know, but non breathable, but it didn't let the rain in yesterday on my three mile trek. So, um. All weather. Yeah, all weather. I'll give it that. No, I don't know. They probably water could probably get through these things. Few things to note about this, all right? There's a few things we'll go over. One, is the cage all right let me bring that up close you can see the cage cage is this kind of knit material which i think is pretty cool and there it is on that side with the stripes painted on there's the cage on this side without the stripes you can see that really creative pattern there um now they have all this you fusing. know fusing of tape across the front here not only functionally does that hold your foot better and they have a little toe thing here to really make sure that you're flying but it looks cool. Yeah, we get it, Adidas. One, two, three stripes right there represented. Uh, the tongue, let me open this, because this part's a little different. It's like a it's like a half tongue. It's like elasticy and it's it's attached, you know, at the bottoms. It 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 kind of comes up from the bottom, but it's its own piece here. You gotta tie it in. A lot more support than the ultra boost while running in the upper part here. When you tie it down, it really holds your foot. Whereas even when you tie down the cage of the ultra boost, the sock type thing's a little looser. Honestly, I like that more. I think these will be my running shoes for a while. You can see the heel cup is a little bit different than the uh other heel cups. Oh, and while we're back here, this mesh, this thing is cool. It's very breathable and very soft. Like, see, you can see my finger coming through it. It's a little different. We're gonna, but they softened up the heel so that your heel could move back when you're running it. it that's what it feels like. Back. But this can do that too, I guess. Yeah, but technically, but no. I'm saying the marriage of that. They did it soft on that one because the rest of the upper is so. Hard. It's so hard. That makes sense. It's hard, and then they made it soft. Hmm. Uh, thanks Adidas. You got this kill nice. Yeah, don't kill my boost boner, dog. <laughs> the torsion system, a little different in this one. Doesn't have that fun little bubble. We should have a drinking game. How many times do you say different during this review? <laughs> Literally, a review is the solar boost. It's D different. <laughs> the solar boost. 
it's different. Mm -hmm. So the fit is true to size. They seem to fit like all of my other shoes do. They fit good. I'm a size 12. I got a size 12. You got the Continental on the bottom. A little Continental grip. The Boost. The Boost, what we noticed, what Teddy noticed, I probably wouldn't have noticed, but is seems to be a little thicker in the heel area here. So, yeah. So they made a point of deflection to propel you forward due to the Boost in the heel. They're also deflecting on some other shit, Adidas. I see you. No, we're deflecting. You're reflecting. You're going to be reflecting our deflections bitch I don't even know what this reviews turned into so that's about it and now if you want to see how to run in these motherfuckers boom I guess that's it um there also let's talk about this this thing what is it you don't know it's the first boost that has this thing and it's like a nerf football type material here it's just a little more support in the mid area and it's painted though this shit's all painted don't let them fucking play you is painted. Someone spray painted this and they stuck it on. I've seen how they make these shoes. I guess if you're wondering, do I cop these shoes? Well, do you run? Do you run in the rain? That's what you have to ask yourself. And do you like things that are different? Do we need flyby? There's a glitch on Adidas for employees. There was a sale for employees. Oh, sale and, for employees on Adidas. You know, a lot of people have checked out and now they, they haven't gotten any confirmation email. Uh -oh. And even people like Easy Mafia were like fueling the fire, but it's an employee sale. It's not for the public. They've not really said shit for the public. I'm pretty much willing to bet that your shit's gonna get fucking canceled. A posted order on your account. It says on your bank, if it says processing, does not mean just turn the camera for I was gonna say, Teddy, why don't you just tell me this whole fucking in. thing? Fucking posted ass motherfucking processing shit is not a fucking confirmed payment. On your bank account, when it says processing, what does it say? Processing transactions, right? That's not a real charge. Not only is it not a real charge, but the joke's on you, because now it's tied up for probably yeah. 30 fucking days yeah. for each Yeah, nine at least. Down and below that is your actual charges. If it's below that and you have a charge, your shoes are coming. If it just says pending, you ain't got shit. XXX to Tacyon just got shot. And apparently he's not moving. Like all the shit on Twitter. Oh shit. Yeah, it says the headline is XXX to Tacyon shot in Miami, no pulse. God, dude, it's so fucked. These kids are so young, man. What a young, talented dude. This kid's dead. You think so? No pulse. Multiple shots. <coughs> you either make it or you don't, and a lot of people don't make it. But this says appears lifeless with no pulse. That doesn't mean, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. you still have to understand it's media, and I'm, and I'm also trying to be, like, optimistic about I am too, dude. I just hate seeing this shit. My 20-year-old rapper shopping for motorcycles in South Florida. As he was leaving the dealer, a gunman ran up to him and shot him. Shit's hard to look. He was not shot in Miami, but Deerfield Beach. He was transported to a nearby hospital and is alive as of now. Crazy. Crazy. Ugh. All right, so uh, that put a damper on things. That's not positive. If it's weird, like, so yes, my man X has some uh, definitely uh, looks like let's just say yeah, some issues, right? And he has some legal troubles because of those issues and situations. And you can call him what you want, and it's fine. You know, we can do that, but. Uh, now would not be the time for that. And that's what's crazy is you get on the internet and instantly people are like spreading hate. And I just tweeted basically the gist of it is I'd be real careful trying to rationalize why you think you are allowed to be hateful. If someone lost their life today over 
being alive, you know, because that even the mistakes that you make in life are just you being alive. People make mistakes. And this is kind of why we don't get anywhere politically is because there are no good candidates to be a human being. There are no good human beings that are just born good and stay good. It's a process. And uh, this is a young man and if he's been murdered, then that process didn't happen or doesn't happen. And even if he didn't get murdered, that process is now interrupted by something else. So uh, all of this stems from ego and none of this is positive at all. It's none of it. But yeah, be real careful. Like tread real lightly with your commentary. If your commentary is you rationalizing a reason to be hateful because you're not helping either. So that's my advice there. It's really it's a pretty terrible story if it's true. The videos are terrible too. Um, Omar, stop. But it's pretty much the day. As far as the shoes go, we did not get finished. I have to clean a couple of pairs. And then all of this repair shit like today has just made it somewhat impossible. I'm pretty grossed out that I may have walked through sewage uh, last night, so I'm gonna go and clean my bathroom and everything else too that came in contact with that water and uh, also figure out what the fuck I'm doing tonight because I don't really want to sleep on my couch for the next three nights. I really don't want to do any of this shit. Yeah, the hits just keep on coming and uh, we had a drop on Sunday. I don't know what's left, but that stuff is shipping. As soon as possible, you should get shipping. So I've got to get this situated, figure out what's going on my night. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, even more than you guys know, more than usual. Uh, I'll have announcements about tour and the future and everything here, like super soon, as soon as I get it all untangled. But right now, <laughs> life is throwing fucking curveballs, which is fine, but uh, it is frustrating sometimes waiting for the right pitch. I am going to go and fucking warm up, I guess. All right, I'm out. Peace. Tell the feeling like I'm trapped in my damn mind Tell the feeling like I'm rapping a damn lie Tell the feeling like my life is a damn game Nigga really wanna die in the night time Only time I feel pain when I'm feeling love That's why I said it on my face that I'm down numb Only time you got my mind when I'm all alone That's why I never really